There's a lot of sewing happening around here and today we are going to see all the toppers that were sewn on this channel in 2022. Stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing and we are in roundup week. I've also been sneaking in other videos with actual makes still, <laughs> still sewing in 2022. And we've already seen 19 dresses in one episode and we've seen 63 tops in another episode catch up if you haven't there's playlist link down below so it's easy for you to find what you like and today we are going to see toppers and by toppers I mean anything that goes on top <laughs> can be a variety of types of garment it could be sweaters pullovers cardigans jackets vests that type of situation <laughs> so anything that would go over something even if it's closed on the front some of these I still consider toppers because I would wear a cami or a shirt underneath quite varied makes you'll see here knits and wovens I always include my commentary everything's modeled and twirled you see lineups you really know what's going on so I hope you enjoy this one's not that long as the previous one and I hope you can pick out your faves maybe get inspired to try some of these yourselves this is my Jenny crossover top it's a winter type version it's a size extra large with a standard bust I love this cute purple polka dot sweater knit the sleeves are easy to sew dolman and you have a long sleeve option here up closer you can see the crossover in the front I think it's really pretty there is some comfortable ease at the hips it's not tight nor loose and at the back I've chosen a straight hem option it can be curved if you like that better and the neckline forms a V on the top it's a crossover I think it really suits me it's always a type of neckline I like I have a little tag I did by hand to keep it in place at a height where I'm comfortable with the band is super easy to sew I've edge stitched it to keep it flat it's really neat it brings the garment close to the chest there's no gaping and I think it's a really lovely style the center front is a tad shorter with that crossover but it's not too pronounced I really like it like it is like this super pretty pattern it took about an hour to sew and the purple makes me extra extra happy this is my Fraser cardigan from Love Notions in a size extra large with a standard bust I chose a striking ponty print I love the feature of the front it has a curved band and the pockets on the front are really easy to sew the curved band lies really flat Flat and neat at the hips because of the curve it doesn't really reach the center front the length at the back will cover your bottom I like this length this is the original one I didn't adjust or make longer to adjust for my height these pockets are super easy to sew they're finished on the edge with a band and then they are basted onto the front piece and they are caught in the band at the bust area it reaches the center but it won't cross over I have a long sleeve I hemmed it normally you can also add a cuff if you want as an option here's a closer look at the neckline the chest the curve of the neckband at the back is perfect it's a really nice close fit at the neck fun cardigan to put together the curved band is everything it's gonna lie super neat there's gonna be no puckers it has a center back seam for shaping i look forward to making another one in the future super satisfied with this make i really enjoyed sewing it this is my subdued top from each to stitch by 16 in a sweater knit i chose the cow option this time hem finishes with a band it's semi fitted at the hips and it reaches the mid hip for me i didn't make any pattern adjustments the cow neckline option is nice and loose, it's not too close to the neck so it feels comfortable and when you extend your arms you can see the shoulder inset piece. I chose to use a stretch lace in this case, this is an optional feature and this piece goes up to the neckline. Here's a closer look at the neck and the shoulders, I think it's such a pretty detail that you can have a lot of fun with. I'm really happy with this butt wing style, I feel it fits amazing, it's super comfortable, it's so easy to sew in under an hour and it was super satisfying. This is my first camo top from itch to stitch in a size 16, this is made as per the original with a stripy sweater knit fabric that has purple and black. I really enjoy thinking and cutting up my pieces so that the stripes would go in opposing directions I have it on with basic basic styling so I can really show off this unique design it has asymmetry as a big feature there's a long sleeve and a long shaped cuff and the bottom is finished with a hem band here you can see the v-neck front and the asymmetric scarf overlay piece that goes over your right shoulder so pretty it goes across your body diagonally and there is a v-neckline on the back as well these two V necklines are not deep. Here you can see the seam that unites the small shoulder pieces on the left side of your body, front and back. And I did attempt a bit of stripe matching on the sleeve that you can see, the one that's not covered with the overlay. I really, really loved sewing something different and how all the pattern pieces came together with these. and love the result. I just think it's really striking. It's a really original style that I would love to make again for sure. I really enjoyed sewing it.
This is my third Metra blazer from Love Notions. This is size extra large with a standard bust. And this Ponty print, such a colorful fabric, I love it. This fabric is so soft, it feels like I'm wearing a cardigan, so comfortable. With the print, you can't see the seams, but there's great shaping. There is a center back seam and a side piece also, so it fits amazing. There's also a round lapel, but I prefer this one. I think it looks a little bit more edgy. The rounded one is a bit more traditional. You can see how to sew all this neckline in my video. There's a burrito method inside very neatly made this one's just taken out of the machine it's a statement blazer the print is so fun i can just have a lot of fun with it and just need simple styling to wear underneath the fabric really is a star here This is my fourth Metro blazer from Love Notions. It's gonna be a staple layer for me. I've got it paired with my Allegro linen pants. You can tell right away that this one is sleeveless and I've used a suede scuba. This makes the construction so easy because I can just leave the edges raw. There's no facing, there's no hem. For the armhole, I just made it narrower slightly on the top just to modify for sleeveless and the key is to have fabric that works with a raw edge and that looks good also. I wouldn't do this with any fabric. To help the seams lie flat, I did top stitching on either side of every single seam so that took a little while longer than actual sewing and this is just so nice it feels amazing on i can wear this over anything you know i can dress this up and down i think i'm gonna wear this about a billion times and i'm really happy i made it This is my newest version of the Tuva Smart Cardigan from Sinclair Patterns. It's a size 16 with a toe file. This is a really interesting sweatshirting material. I have the shorter length option here. There is a longer one and a long sleeve with a cuff. You'll see the details up closer, of course. I really love the feet and the look with these red linen pants. Up closer, you can see the curved seams on the front and I've used a black contrast trim for this. I love how it looks. The button is optional but I always sew it in there and you can see that there is a lace print on this sweatshirting. It makes it look like there's an overlay on the fabric but there isn't. You can see my long sleeves with the cuff that also has the same type of trim as on the front. If you're looking for a more simple version you can just cut the sleeve a little bit longer and just hem it normally. The back shaping is amazing. There are princess seams there so the fit is really outstanding here. I love how this feels on, it feels so, so comfortable, but the shaping makes it look like you're more put together than you really feel. <laughs> so we're not wearing anything boxy or oversized here. I think the fit is really, really good. And that just elevates any look, whether you're wearing this over a dress, more formally, or just over some linen pants like here. This is my Reconnect cardigan from Pattern Emporium. You can see that the print is pretty striking here. It is a really floaty ITY and I placed the pattern pieces so that I would have those stripes going down the center front. And then I have the same sort of stripes going down the center back. And then I have the black and white flower print on the sides. I had a lot of fun doing that. My length is between the knee and the midi. I can wear this with any color underneath, but I just have a simple black dress. I really love how floaty and light this is and it's really appropriate for the weather here in Brazil. The way the band is finished at the bottom with the hem is really neat. I really like how that's put together. Here you can see the top part that the band sort of contrasts the print. Same fabric though and there's the stripes puff sleeve right there. Because the fabric is so light it's not really that voluminous but it is pretty out there. It is pretty striking look I find. I love that stripe on the back. There I'm just showing off my puff sleeves. They just feel so amazing on. Here's a closer look at the band. I struggled a lot with ITY but I knew what I was getting into. You can see the lower part of the sleeve 
is narrow and it's gathered there on that side and on the top and there's no other fabric I would use for this feature because I don't really want the volume to be excessive I think this fabric tolerates it really well I have a simple band here but you can interface this one partially and add on how many buttons you want I think it's a statement type of topper right here really love it I can't wait to wear it out this is my first sweet cheek sweater from Pattern Emporium you can see it's a drop shoulder with a wide sleeve gathered into a cuff a V and the hemband has a little slit in the sides you'll see the details up closer I've paired it with my sporty lounge skirt also from Pattern Emporium burgundy handbag and some boots little scarf little winter outfit it's a dream sweater for me I always wanted to have something that was loose like this in this hound tooth with black contrast I have the longest length available I am a little taller so it's not that long on me it's just perfect it's almost at the full hip you can see it on the side it's a little longer than the front the technique to sew these two bands is super super easy I really enjoyed that and up here you can see the wide V neckband I'm a huge fan of V neckbands and even though there's other options in the pattern that's what I've chosen you can see how it looks in the back Up here you can see it up closer and also the gathering that is into the cuff I think that is super cute it's not too much just enough and you can see the seam that matches him on that neckband super interesting technique you can see how to sew it in my video and I'm super happy with this outfit it's exactly how I would wear this and I'd wanted this sweater for such a long time in houndstooth here is my mom's view B from the moss jacket another linen blend in blue she chose it herself from my stash and it's a really nice casual jacket for her she dresses quite casually in jeans like this just like you see her now and there's the folded collar I think is very beautiful I thought I liked view B better than view A when I started sewing but I actually like both versions here this is a three-quarter length sleeve and what I've done inside with hers I've bound all the edges there and I think it looks really nice with that contrast cotton inside just something special for her special jacket because I pull out all the stops when I sew for my mum. <laughs> Love how it looks on her. This is my moss jacket. It's also a length between the shorter and the longer option. I used a brown embroidered linen and you can see I've got the wide collar option. I've also used the three quarter length sleeve and you'll see the details up closer. Here you can see that this collar is just a really wide piece that is folded over. Sort of looks like a short collar but it's not and it's super easy to sew. I have patch pockets there and the fit is relaxed but it's not extremely boxy either. It's not fitted at all. I used the size I was supposed to here, didn't size up or down. It's a really neat and clean finish inside, very easy to sew drop type of shoulders I think a three-quarter length will serve me better and at the back you have a yoke that is in a double layer or burritoed or enclosed and very neat inside that is a casual style that is going to be super easy to wear This is my navy blue moss jacket. This is view A, it's slightly different in the center front. You see when I get further away that it's got the same modified length between the short length and the longer length option. But this is view A, which has an exposed facing. It doesn't reach the center, it's not supposed to. I omitted to sew the sleeves on here, so I have a sleeveless hack very easy to do and you can see the exposed facing there on the front it's very neat very easy to do and at the back you have two layers for the yoke all the seams are enclosed and it's a very neat finish I'm surprised I like this version a lot I thought I was gonna like view B best but I like this one as well and the finish for the armholes there was very easy to do because that area is just straight. Nice little patch pockets for decoration and this is a great little cover up for the hotter weather. I'm, I know I'm going to wear this a lot. <laughs> Love it. You'll see it on my son as well. I just wanted to show you the details. I have more patience to show you all the features on. It's a good length for me at the full hip. I have my cuff folded there. It's really nice. I've got it over a pair of linen pants, some boots, a little scarf. I think it's a great style, very casual. 
lots of pockets and you'll see the details up close. I can button up mine, I still have some ease at the hips but I would definitely always just wear this open like I wear all my jackets. I definitely have room for one layer underneath and here on the side you can see the patch pocket on the hip. There are other options and other shapes that you can add. This is just the one that my son chose. They are totally functional. You can actually put stuff in here. <laughs> and then here you can see the sleeve placket. It's very nice with a cuff. Of course, you can just sew a simple sleeve with a normal hem. And at the top, you can button up this collar if you wanted to, but I would never do that. So I'll just wear mine open. Sewing the collar is so easy, and I have a video on the channel showing you how to do that. There is the chest pocket there. I would wear it just for decoration, but I know my son's gonna put things in there. And there you can see the top stitching on the shoulder and the extra yoke I added just for decoration. There is a closer look at the integrated facing and the collar. It's a very easy technique to sew that looks really really neat. Drop shoulder right there. I'm very happy with this. That's how it looks like on me. This is one size down than what I should have made but let's see it on my son. Okay here's my son. He did not want to move around that much so there you go. You can see it's a looser fit on him like it should be and it's just really nice. He's just got a pair of uh, another pair of jeans and a t-shirt. It's very casual. I know he could wear this for years to come. It's gonna age really well. It's got all the pockets he wants to carry all his things. At this point, he has the cuffs folded up once, but if he grows anymore, he can just unfold that and it'll be good. There is a nice look at the back yoke and hem. It's a very nice jacket and I'm glad you can finally have it. This is my Aria shirt paired with my summer key pants, both in burgundy linen. I know it looks red, but I promise it's burgundy. <laughs> I love how they go together. I've also paired it with my gray Luna Kami and I'm just really happy to have this outfit. The Luna Kami has a V neckline there, as you can see, that's a little hack. This is the collar of the Aria shirt that's really easy to sew. I added chest pockets and put some buttons there in silver, lots of buttons and the start of the show is the tulip hem on the short sleeves. I did it to mimic the hem of the summer key pants and it was a really fun process. And it's just such an amazing shirt that I can wear open like this, laid back or maybe just button up one of these buttons. Highly recommend this pattern, it's a really nice sole. This is my second aria that I made into a jacket of sorts. It's a suiting material in black, grey and white. And I've got some details in grey linen here, also paired with my summer key pants in burgundy and my Luna Kami in grey and you'll see the details up closer. I've added a few details like patch pockets on the hips and also on the chest. The curved hem is nice and I've done all the hems by hand. I did a cheeky fake sleeve tower placket as you can see there, really easy to do and I added some buttons. It's a really comfortable fit to wear open like a little jacket. I lost the video footage of the upper portion, the collar, but here you can see some photos. It's such a nice make, really enjoyed the process, really slow process, a lot of hand basting. So worth it and I love this classic jacket. Here is my winter thaw jacket. I've only made one in this opportunity. It's my dream jacket in a purple tone. This is a linen rayon blend, structured medium weight fabric and I really love this color paired with green accessories here and I love the combination of green and purple, basic black jeans. I really like this length on me, it's at the upper thigh. I didn't make any length adjustments to the jacket as such, but I did make the sleeves a little longer. Here you can see it zipped up, although I will never wear it zipped up. It's got a drawstring that brings it in at the waist and instead of doing metal snaps, I just have regular buttonholes and golden buttons. I think they look really cute. These pockets are lined. I've got them on the hips and on the chest and at the sleeve you have a little tab there with a button. I think it's really cute. Here you can see my lining inside and and I have a drawstring with an adjustable piece there where I can adjust it. <laughs> Here on the top you can see some details of the patch pockets on the chest. They are optional, I decided to put those in and you can see the front flap that covers the zipper. Really love how that looks, it's really clean. On the back I have a yoke, it's been top stitched. The back is simple compared to the front and here's a closer look at the patch pockets there. They are the same as the hip pocket. I also have a princess seam that comes from the shoulder. It's a C cup, there are cup size options and I think the fit is 
superb it's amazing i really love the jacket it was a project that was really worth all the time it took and i can't wait to make it again maybe sleeveless yeah i just love it so much the lining inside makes me really happy and i know i'm gonna wear this a lot my favorite color or what's not to love this is a really amazing pattern Here is my shorter winter thigh jacket in a royal blue linen. It's unlined, it does have patch pockets and only one chest pocket. It's four inches shorter than the original version and I have it here over one of my Celeste dresses in linen, black and white. I love this combination with the silver heels and the silver bag. I love this outfit, I feel amazing in it. And I know I can dress this jacket up as much as I want. It just depends, you know, it's always possible. <laughs> Inside you can see the edges of my facings are bound with a colorful cotton, you really can't see that and here it is closed. I really like the ease here and I do like this shorter length. I think it works really well. I did have to make it shorter because I had less fabric with this one. Here you can see it zipped up although I will never wear it zipped up. It's got a drawstring that brings it in at the waist. Here is my single chest pocket and here you can see it zipped up partially. Love the cover of the armhole. I only made it a little narrower on the top otherwise it fits really well it's finished with cotton bias tape I made and it's really neat inside at the back you can see my yoke I had to piece that so it's made out of three pieces run out of fabric so I really love it I think it's a great addition to my wardrobe and I can't wait to wear this out in the real world you know I love styling it as well but I know I'm gonna wear this a lot love the color Here is the same jacket styled with jeans. These are the Mountain View pull-up jeans, stretch jeans. And I just have a simple black top underneath, colorful scarf, a blue bag, and this is a casual way to wear something sleeveless for the in-between weather, you know, when you don't need that much warmth. And I think the long sleeves of this top are fine. This is perfect for my winter, and I just really love this casual look as well that is possible with a sleeveless jacket like that. It's not just for hot weather, you know? Love it so much. I finally made an actual cozy robe and I really do need one of these when it gets cold. It does get cold here, believe it or not. I've been yearning for something that's going to give me warmth. I chose a sweater knit which is non-traditional for robes. I'm just not into the fleece and that type of material so I think this is perfect, just the right amount of warmth I like. I have the hood in this opportunity and those ties that go at the waist, I have them fixed in place at the side seams. I actually sewed them onto the side seams so there's no loop, there's no way I'm going to lose the belt or it's gonna fall off because that's something that always annoys me about robes not gonna happen in this case I could just have them tied up there and to bring the sleeves in a little I just created little tabs just little rectangles that I sewed in there on the seam of the sleeve and then just sewed on a button just the last minute thing I decided to do and that is how the hood looks it's lined inside I have two layers of the sweater knit there on the hood and it encloses that seam that unites the hood to the neckline I love doing that then the rest is super simple. The other change I made here to this one was eliminate the back seam. I just straightened out that area and cut it on the fold and I just love this hood, it's so cozy. I think because the fabric is non-traditional for robes, I will be highly tempted to wear this as a cardigan as well. I'm pretty much 99% sure I'm gonna wear it outside too and no one will think it's a robe. It is my shawl vest. There are only two pattern pieces. The way you get all your shaping is with a lot of darts around the waist and at the armhole. 
I didn't make any changes to the pattern. I sewed a size 16 with a C cup. The way I did my closures was with large hooks and eyes. My fabric is a linen rayon blend in a military type green. It is lined and all the edges are bound with self bias tape. It will be a really cool layering piece for me. This is a little bit of a raised neckline here. You can see the back. There are other ways that you can sew this and many more options to be creative. I can wear it closed like this on its own. But in this case, I do have a cami underneath and I think I'll be wearing this open. I usually wear things open. I love vests. I convert jackets into vests all the time. I don't need to do that here because it is a vest. <laughs> and I really like the color. I kept mine simple. It is still lined though and I really, really enjoyed it. I've paired it here with my Mountain View jeans that I made the other day. I have a little zipper hack on the hem, split hem. Here is my tranquil pajama, but it's not a pajama, it's just a sweater. It's a lovely sweater knit. I love this color. Just got it over black pants here, but I can also wear it with my tranquil pants and that you'll see next. And the details of this neckline are just so pretty. The binding, the way I sew it that is exposed, I think highlights it really well and I've done it with a contrast black. So pretty, I've got added cuffs just for an extra length and something different. I also added the hem band, which is not part of the pattern. It's a split hem band, sewn in two separate pieces, but still on the round. So it's a really easy way to get that split type hem there on the band and I really love it. This is my With Love Poncho. There are lots of options in this pattern, but I've chosen this amazing neckline. I have the shorter length here. There are longer length options. You can also sew patch pockets, but I just decided to keep mine really simple. This knit is amazing. It's a knit boucle in an amazing pink color. It's a super easy style to sew and fit, obviously. I did choose according to my size and on each of these corners you have mitered corners. I think it's important for the serger threads to match inside. I've chosen this asymmetric buttoned collar that you sew on on one of the sides. I've got buttons there just for decoration. You can also do a rolled neck or a hood or just a little band. So this can really work for any weather. It just depends on what options you choose. Here is my songbird. I made it in the cover-up length. The band is a little shorter at the center front. I think it adds a super cute detail. I'd made this one before last year in a chiffon and I didn't add all the details, but now I did. I added a casing and a drawstring. Here up closer, you can see the band. I also did a full bust adjustment and I added a small dart on the side. Just because this fabric is really structured, I thought I really needed that dart. When I made it in chiffon last year, I didn't do that. And I took the patch pockets from the getaway shorts, the exact same piece, and just cut it a little shorter and just sewed those on. It's all really neat inside. It's in a single layer. I've got matching serger thread, and I think it's a really great little cover-up jacket slash thing that I can put on top of anything. Really happy to have it, and I have a matching pair of getaway shorts. It's going to be a really cute outfit. Here is my matchy matchy set, songbird and getaway shorts in a burgundy linen rayon blend. I really love how they look together. I've got them with a black cami underneath. I can wear these like this, but I can also wear these as separate pieces. Really love the look. I love the extra details on the songbird. These shorts are a basic, a great fit. I love that drawstring at the waist. I think it gives it a little bit more shaping and I'm really happy with this little outfit. I think it's super cute. This is the North Star pullover I made for my dad. I made his with a collar, but you can sew a hoodie there. He's having a good time modeling it there for you. It's got a half zipper. I chose one with metal teeth. I did add those patch pockets there, one on the chest, and I have an extra patch pocket on the kangaroo pocket. I just thought it would add something extra, and he always appreciates extra pockets. So the denim there, I think it's a good match. I have the exact same color for the rib knit that I used on the bands and the cuffs and the pocket entrance. I love how it looks on him. It's super comfy, super cozy. It is summer here, so he, it was a bit of an effort for him to put it on. And I'm just really happy I was able to make him a gift. Mm -hmm. 
remember this week I also have information in the description box about end of year sales that are happening, at least the ones that I know about. Pattern Emporium 30% off through the first. Sinclair Patterns has a buy one get one free through the first also. And Itch to Stitch has nine patterns. I am an affiliate to these brands and you'll see some of the makes in these roundup videos anyway. So that's why I'm plugging them in here. The last episode of this roundup week will be the bottoms. 32 bottoms, that'll be the last and the fourth episode of this roundup week. So look out for that one. Make sure you're subscribed. You always have a lot of practical content here. So I hope you just click there, tap, tap and join this family. That's all from me. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.